Laputa therapy apparatus of death ray. Just have a Tesla coil. In the thoughties the Spanish Antonio Longo US resident claimed to have designed a device that produced a death ray capable of killing pigeons to four kilometers away. A little research, we realized that Antonio Longo was not another crazy again. He was an inventor with over 10 patents in the United States, doctor and engineer. Among his inventions are machinery and welding methods, apparatus and methods of metal bending a surgical device. And what brings us here? A radio frequency device that can be used for it treatments or for the purposes. I went to review the patent system. Seems normal but I found very interesting things like that inside has a Tesla coil and is an oscillator that produces high frequency effectively. I've seen other videos that the use of this device is shown as an instrument free. The other purposes of which he speaks the patient can be given to increase the power of the same apparatus. The apparatus is as follows. An electric circuitry simulation is. The patent specification is the following. United States Patent Office. Antonio Longoria, of Cleveland, Ohio, as an to the Stalin Electrical Corporation Company, of Cleveland, Ohio, a corporation of Ohio. High frequency apparatus. 1,302,391. Specification of letters patent. Patented April 29, 1919. Application filed June 2, 1918. Sierra number 101,299, to all whom it may concern, be known that I, Antonio Longoria, a subject of the King of Spain, residing at Cleveland, in the county of Cuyahoga and state of Ohio, have invented sudden new and useful improvements in high-frequency apparatus, of which the following is a specification. This invention relates to electrical apparatus, and more particularly to apparatus for the production of high-tension electrical discharges for therapeutic use, although capable of application for purposes. The objects of the invention are to generally simplify and improve the construction and arrangement of the apparatus and also to improve the circuits so as to secure a more even and effective discharge with no disagreeable shock to the user. Five the objects of the invention are import obvious and import will appear more in detail here and after. The invention comprises the construction and arrangement of parts and the system of circuits and devices here are enough to describe and claimed. In the drawings figure 1 is a longitudinal section view of the device. Figure 2 is the emilawa section of the high tension device. Figure 3 is a cross section on the line 3 3 figure 1. Figure 4 is a detailed section view of the interrupter. Figure 5 is a view partly in Libertian and partly in section of the electrode and ditch circuit. Figure 5 is a detailed view of another form of circuit. And figure 6 is a diagrammatic view of the circuits, referring to the drawings. One represents the casing, which is preferably made of insulator 18 material and is provided with an electrode opening at 2 inches one end and an entirely threaded portion 3 to the other to receive a cap or plug thaw, having an opening 5 for LED wires 6 and 7. This plug is also provided with an opening 8 to one side of each center to receive a combined adjusting screw and contact to be described. The working parts are all enclosed in the casing and consist of an interrupter, a condenser and a high tension device all properly wired and connected and now to be described. The interrupter comprises a coil 9 of soft iron wires surrounded by a tube 10 carry in a winding 11. Secured to the tube 10 are end pieces 12 and 13 the latter carry in the 55 make and break device. Secured to the end piece 13 is an armature spring 14 bent to extend over the car 9 and carry in above and 15 inches position to could operate with the car 9. It is also provided with a contact piece 16 adapter to engage the contact portion 17 of the contact and adjusting screw 18, which is threaded into a bridge 19 mounted on screws 20 secured to the end piece 13 as shown. A coiled spring 21 is arranged upon the shank of the screw 18 and engages between the bridge and a head 22 and subs to prevent accidental movement of the screw. The screw 18 projects through the opening 8 inches the cap or plug. The condenser 23 is of any approved type and since its structure has no particular bearing on the other mechanism it will not be described or shown in detail. It is shown however, in a diagrammatic way. 
In alignment with the condenser and the interrupt coiling within the casing is the high tension device comprising an inner tubular member 24 containing a split lick trough socket 25 and has wound about at the high tension coil 26. This coil has several layers wound one upon the other, the layers near the outer side of the coil being spaced far tear apart by greater thickness of insulation since it is at points near the periphery that the greatest tendency to puncture the insulation occurs. Any suitable insular 18 strips may be used but I have shown the device provided with paper strips 27, these strips being thin and increased in number to give the proper insulation, it being obviously impossible to properly indicate the layers in a drawing. The inner end of the high tension coil is connected to the electro socket 25 and the outer end is turned upon itself to form a return loop 28, figure 6, whose function is to prevent electrical discharge at the free end of the secondary winding. This loop is one complete turn of the wire coil, the free end being brought around and all dead up raised to the body of the wire to the joint, the inner coil being well insulated to prevent current leakage. Upon the outer side of an insular 18 strip 29 surrounding the complete high tension coil is a low tension coil 30, preferably comprising a single layer or winding and co-extensive with the layers of the high tension coil. The electrode itself may be of any suitable form, but is shown comprises a tubular part of TN31, an enlarged head 32, and a base 33 provided with a shank 34 adapter to engage 10 the lugs 35 of socket 25 to be frictionally held therein. In figure 5 the electrode has a squared end portion, while in figure 5 its end portion or shank 34 is round and provided in its side with a longitudinal group 40 to 15 receiver T to a projection 41 on the circuit. Both arrangements prevent rotation of the electrode in its circuit. What I claim is, 1, in a high frequency device, a primary winding means for producing electrical impulses therein, a secondary winding means for connecting an electrode to one end of said secondary winding, the other end of said secondary coil being free of connection to any other part, and means for preventing electrical discharge at the free end of said secondary winding. Two. In a high frequency device, a primary winding means for producing electrical escalations in the primary winding, a secondary winding means for connecting an lip trap to one end of said secondary winding, and a loop formed by the conductor at the other end of said secondary winding. 3. In a high frequency device, a cylindrical casing, an interrupter, a condenser, and a high tension device enclosed in said casing and arranged end to end and electrically connected to each other, said casing at one end having an opening through which an electrode may be coupled to said high tension device, and a tip's opposite end having an opening to receive an adjusting device for. In testimony where Ravar fix my signature in presence of two witnesses, Antrimulongora, witnesses, Elbert Telhide, Terza.